Hello everybody and welcome once again to All The Mods 4. This episode we're going to carry on with Pneumatograph Dripper Tries and today we are going to do um, Logistics Drones. So let's get started. So the recipe for the Logistics Drones is actually very similar to all the other drones. So they all need four turbine rotors um, and they need something in the middle. So for Logistics Drones we need a Logistics Core and the recipe for that is some um, Reinforced brick tile, which is basically stone with uh, compressed iron around it, like the redstone here, and it then gets done four times. Very straightforward, not difficult at all to do. In fact, we can have a look at the recipe for that. It's four of these reinforced bricks, and then four of that is um, then reinforced stone to make the bricks, and then this one is basically one compressed tile with some stone around it. So we've got our drone. Now, what do we want to do with it today? Well, what I would like to do is to automate this. We haven't done this automation yet. So what this is, is a pneumatic, uh, thermopneumatic processing plant. And we've got lapis in it. And what I would like to do is to bring water into it. And maybe lapis, we're not sure about that yet. We could, for, for the time being, I want to bring water into it. Now, last time, we can bring water with two ways. We can use a pump and we can use a gas lift. So we're going to use a gas lift today. So let's go and get a gas lift. It's fairly straightforward um, gas lift. It's just some reinforced stone slabs. And I've got the recipe in here already. A small fluid tank and some pressure tubes. These are basically, let's have a look at the recipe for those. Try again. <laughs> so that's three foot reinforced stone, which is this one. So it's just two steps to make the slabs. So we can then take one of these gas lifts. I'll take that out of the way. I should have lots of small tanks in here. I'm going to put this one in a. Um, let's put it in somewhere else so we don't. It's never going to get picked up on. So there would be, for example, there's no. Um, there's no link to that chest. So, so now we've got our reinforced well, gas lift. We're going to have to plug it in. And I need something else. I need a um, regulator to actually make sure that the pressure is not too high. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, the tank down here. And I'm going to connect it to these. So I'll just go and get quick re a regulator. I'll be back in a second. Right, I've got the regulator. First of all, what I'm going to do is put down the um, gas lift. So I've put down a block here. So because we need to place it on a, above a block of water i guess would be the sensible thing to do we'll then place this down here and then we can break this well i've actually keep the block across like that so that's now on top of water and if we right click this we'll see the pressure so the max pressure here is five bar so we've got to make sure that this thing doesn't get too much pressure otherwise it'll blow up um so now what we need to do is we need to put down a piece of pipe here i think here I would suggest and then we can possibly link it in so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to block off the end of this one by right clicking it so it's got the stop and then we can put some pipe down I'll get this out of the way I'm using solely advanced pressure tubes at the moment like that ah and I think I also need to do it like this we'll just try it and see what happens I'll put the regulator down here and see what happens no, that's not going to connect in, is it? So we're going to have to bring it across here a little bit more. Uh, put down a piece of pipe here, and you'll see that that connects in. We don't want it to connect in, so I've got to break this piece of pipe. To break it again, we'll put down the, the block of grass again. Then we can put it back again. And of course, because this is a 2x2, two two, the water is going to stay. So let's just put the regulator down here. I did, uh, that's what's problem is I've got to bring it back one further so let's just shift right click right that click off or click that off and try again so this time we'll bring it across one block here and then put the regulator on it like that and then we can put the we can then remove this we'll do that as well the grass block I'm using salt touch so I get my grass block back again and then we should be able to put the gas lift straight onto this like that great so then it's got 4.9 bar maximum in here so it's, it should never blow up uh, so all we need to do now is to reconnect this back into here like this it should get pressure 
So look at it. And it hasn't got any pressure for some reason or rather. So look, zero bar, zero bar. Zero bar. Oh, yes. I'm actually doing this slightly wrong because what that's then connecting to these and I don't really want it to connect to those. So what we have to do now, because that's got no pressure in it, I can simply remove this one here like this. Interesting, it had some pressure in it. So let's remove that and bring the pressure from somewhere else. I think that probably the best place to bring it from would be here. And I might need some more pipe. I've only got four. Let's see if there's some in the chest here. I think I made some more last time we were here. We've got 32. Fantastic. Plenty. So I'll run some pipe from here outwards. So I can run it from, for example, they will do. Run it over the top here. Oh, maybe that will connect into there if I'm not careful. No, we'll run it from, we'll run it from this side here like this. Oh, it's difficult to actually make a decision on this one. <laughs> no, don't like that one. Let's get rid of that one. Let's put it on here. Yeah, I thought that might happen. Mistake, there we are. Oops, I just blew something up. <laughs> right. And I just blew up the pneumatic processing plant. Fantastic. Right, let's write this click. I should actually have the, the lapis lazuli with me here. And I'll just have to quickly make another one of those. Back in a second. Right, my, my mistake was I didn't block this off. I should have really done it, blocked everything up before I put everything down, shouldn't I? But never mind. Uh, so it happens. So we place this down here like that. Then it'll connect in. And we then can put in the lapis lazuli again. Uh, underneath it, you can actually take items out of here. So let's just break the block underneath it. Might be reachable. Actually, let's use the silk touch again. Like that. And then we should be able to put into underneath here a hopper. It's looking a bit tight actually because this pneumatic um, processing plant is actually taking a full block and so I can't get here. I'm going to have to break this piece off here, this one out of here, and then we can put a hopper into place. Now I should have some hoppers in one of my bags. This one's got hoppers in it, good. And then we can shift click that into here like this. So it goes to the right place and then we can put the grass block back down here like that. So we're, we're already all caught. We're already organised. So now it's not connecting because of that. Um, as I said, I wasn't too happy with it. But anyway, so it should now have water in this. Let's have a look. It's full of water. Oh, and it's full of water. And I didn't even put any drill bits down. And I shouldn't normally. You'd normally put drill bits in here. Uh, interesting. It actually says no drill pipes. Okay, let's put some, make some drill pipes first of all. And I hope I've got enough drill pieces with me to do that. I don't think I have. No, I don't. I have to go and get some drill pieces. I'll be back in a second. The recipe for these is just basically a drill piece, just three pipes in a row, and it gives you three drill pipes. Uh, so it's obviously working without that. Probably because it's directly above the water. I'm not 100% sure on you all this. We'll fill it in and make keep it happy. So that should have got rid of one of these. Then it says not enough space to um, to pump, connect to a tank. So we're not going to connect to a tank. We're going to connect to a um, frame. So, and, in, and what we're going to do is we're going to just come along here and we're going to get a passive provider frame. I think will be a good idea. Maybe not. I don't know what we'll do. We'll do an active provider frame here. We'll take a tank, in fact I might as well take all of these with me. And we'll take some default storage and we'll put it into there. So what we're going to do is I would like to have a, a water source. Let's put a water source over here for instance. Somewhere like this. And what I'd like this is to hold water. So let's just take a uh, default storage. Here like that. And then we're going to say we would like to put water into this. Let's get the configurator out right click this and we click this now there are actually two waters but now there's a bug ha ah, this is a feature he added here so we can actually see which type of water it was if you've got an older version you won't be able to see what the mod is here so the one we need of course is minecraft water so we'll put that down here and then we'll shift right click this three or four times to get to 
32 buckets. So it's going to store up to 32 buckets in this tank because it's a small tank, that's fine. So now we're going to come along here and put onto this an active provider frame. Now you need to use active provider frames if you've got storage in the way. So put it like that, right click that on here like this, no problem. And then over here, we're going to put a active uh, requester frame. So that's the blue ones like that. And then we're going to do again the same thing on here. We're going to say we want some water. So we want in here and we would like to have how many, what's the capacity of this? Let's just check that first of all. 16 buckets. So we can maximize that. There's no reason not to. So shift right click four times and you get your 16 buckets. So now it's going to request water. So all we have to do now is to put down a drone. We already made a drone in the previous episode, so let's just put it down here. Now, let's put it on this piece of carpet, actually. There it goes. So now it's flying away, and you can see immediately it's filled this up. Uh, so I made the advancement here, a little clever help. And you can see this is pulling up the water now and how it's doing it. And it will go over here, and it will eventually put some water into here. Now, at the moment, it is gone to somewhere else. Where's the drone gone to? All right, it's sitting on top of here. And this is a tank that is taking um, kerosene. It's going to convert the kerosene into gasoline. But we haven't turned it on. So let's just turn this on. So that should then be able to empty this out here as it produces gasoline. So let's have a look at this. So you don't need any stage right. It's gone off again. It's going to get something else. What's it going to get this time? Probably some more kerosene as it happens. And there it's flying around. Delivering kerosene to here. Now, let's have a look if I can catch it before it... If I can catch it at some stage, I would like to do that because I would like to put into this a different... There it is. Now, when it goes back here, I should be able to catch it. Now, at the moment, it's got fluid in its tank. Uh, and I need this one here. Yeah. got it so earlier on when you did that you'd lose the fluid in the tank that's why I was being very careful to make sure it's got uh, it was on the way back so it's not taking anything with it because there's nothing providing uh, gasoline gasoline's plenty and we haven't got any process for gasoline at the moment I don't we should have actually this should be gasoline providing that so I'll just check this one yeah, this is gasoline and uh, providing LPG and the LPG is in this tank. So that will be then taken over to here and filling up this tank. Now this tank is probably already full with LPG because we've got plenty of LPG at the moment. Yes, we have. Don't ask me what happened there. Um, so that's how it's working. Now this is actually a very, this is quite a, a good system here where I've done here. You'll see here I've put liquid hoppers on here now that liquid hopper has a face um on here you need to insulate these but if to x takes stuff out you'd have to put in a block that has no collision box now and blocks that have no collision blocks are things like carpets so what i've done here is i've put carpets on top of this so it's not trying to get through the trap door um it has been a fix actually in, in build 17 that actually allows trap doors to work again I'm not going to use, I'm going to leave this like this and let it do its processing as you can see and there's another request I put in here I, you'll see I've got a, um, a redstone comparator and I would like that the, when this tank gets outputs a level a redstone level according to how full it is and then you can automatically turn this off by going around here and just sending a redstone signal into this so when that tanks full this stops that would be not, that would be a nice feature so you can automate that without having to go around manually turning things on and off. Now, where was I? Drone. So this now will have done, if I'm not mistaken, we've got the hopper in, hopper in there. What's that doing? Hopper doing in there. Oh, it's got no pressure on it because I've turned it off. Yes, of course. Turn it back on again. This will now work. It'll work quite quickly, actually. And you'll see that these are coming up and they're ending up in here. So we'll end up with plenty of um, 
upgrade matrix is. And one thing I would like to do is the next thing, let's just take out 16 of those, got 16, good. I would like to upgrade this drone. And the one thing I'd like to put into it is a security, not a security upgrade because it, it's not in a very dangerous position. But I would like to, you see, I've actually got plenty of upgrade matrices in here anyway. But what I'd like to do is have a look at this one. It's an upgrade. Is this one here, standby upgrade. Now the standby upgrade is for, it's quite easy actually. Four red zones around here with some uh, upgrade matrices. But I haven't got any red zone torch, I haven't got to bed. Let's just make a bed quickly. Um, we've got plenty of wool. I think the wool is in my inventory here. Yes, I've got plenty of wool. I need some planks. Have we got planks in here? Yes, we have. So we'll, just, we'll make a couple of these. In fact, we'll make two beds. Like that. They don't stack beds, so I didn't want to make too many. And then we need some redstone torches. So let's just um, tear this out. Like that. Oh, actually, I actually want to put those into here, whatever I can. Did it move anything? I don't think it did. I wanted the wood to go into there. Um, right. So now, redstone torches. We should have a, quite a few, actually. 62. So I need eight of these. And then we can make these two standby upgrades. And again. Like that. So we've got two standby. Now we need to put these into the drone. Which of course is very straightforward. We just come along here to the charging station. Like that. And then we put into this drone. Uh, we put the drone into the charging station. What's the pressure of them? 10 bar. So I'd be happy to take some more. And then you get this manage upgrades for the logistics room. So you can click this. And these are the upgrades you can put in it. Security upgrade in this case is different than most of the security upgrades. So with one security um, upgrade, the drone can operate within fluids. Around, if it, otherwise it might drown. If you've got water about it, it might well drown. We're not having, we don't have that problem. Um, and the other one, if you put in more than one, two upgrades, then it will displace the water. And it will never willingly go into lava. What else does it say in here? So one or more provides drones with protection from electrical damage as well. So from immersive engineering, with more drones, um, it doesn't get damaged with high voltage. And it recovers itself, which is, good, which is actually very useful. So we'll put one of these into here like this. And what that means is that now it's just automatically turn that off. So it's got the upgrade here. We can simply put this down now and it'll go and do its business. It'll carry on working for us. And the range of the drone, which I haven't discussed yet, is a 30, uh, maybe it's in the book actually. Let's have a look. Yes, this one here. So it says, by holding down shift, an airborne robot performs logical ta logics tasks defined by inventories and the fluid tanks attached with attached logic logistics frames within a 31 by 31 by 31 area um so let's i could put it down anywhere in some in the middle for example if i put it down here it'll go off and it'll do something where's it gone to all right it's bringing some more water into here to fill it up again so now we've got some more water in here so it's filled up and it's still making these until that all runs out and then it's probably going to hang over here. I oh, know it's busy. I'm not sure what it's doing. Oh, it's probably filling. Yes, of course, it's now filling up this with water, as we hoped it would do. Uh, and its capacity, let's have a look how much time it's got in here. So it's got 10 buckets of water in here, so it's put in 11 buckets. So its capacity is obviously 11. So one more trip and it'll be filled up with water. Let's wait for that to come back. It doesn't take very long for it to do its business. And actually that did seven at that time, so it wasn't quite as many as that. So after that, this tank will be full, and then the drone will go and do something else. So look. 
yes now it's finished as you can see it's got nothing else to do at the moment because there are no outputs for fluids so this thing is running at full speed as you can see pressure is 9.62 bar and this hasn't yet turned on what temperature what pressure have we got this set to emitting a redstone of zero so it probably nine oh it's 19 bar wasn't it that's what it set it up to be so this is probably running full power let's have a look at the pressure see if it's actually increasing no it's not increasing so the next thing we can do is to increase this to make it go faster temperature is fine look you can see the temperature is down to 39 degrees so we've got a bit of capacity here to make this go faster and also this is also running on gasoline it's not running on um, lpg at the moment so later on it we're running on lpg so let's quickly go and make some um more upgrades this time we're going to make oh i do need something else that's one thing i haven't done so we're going to have to do that as well we're going to have to make some more lubricant so in order to do that we need redstone and diesel i think is what we need so we and that's basically it as far as i remember let's go and get some redstone out of here um get a stack of redstone out of here and we're going to do this in another pneumatic craft reprocessing plant and i've got two more there's one here and there's one here which we built in fact if you count the number of thermonumatic processing plants we've got now we've got one here two three four five six so if we then have a look at the uses of pneumatic these um thermonumatic processing plants this one look at the uses of it so here we've got two pages so we just need six at the most you'll need six to do everything and the one we need to do is to make lubricant and the uses of lubricant you've got arm again so it should be another use for it but we have to use buckets um it doesn't show that one up so the temperature we need is 100 degrees so this one needs insulating so let's get that done very quick and very simple i'll put it over here i think this one's insulated as you can see let's look at this problems no space i've insulated it with a flower and a piece of carpet and this one's also got a piece of, of flour on the other side of it so what we're going to do is we're going to have to put into two items into here we'll put the redstone in manually like that um and we'll get the and we'll get the gasoline from over here so oh, this, no the diesel i mean sorry what we need is another i've got these already with me so i don't need to do that So here we can put down another one of these we don't need to specify what's the type and so we've got that one over there and then we can over here we can come and put onto here the um requester frame like this and then we configure it to say we want gasoline into here configure it we'll double just check, double check the recipe make sure i haven't messed that up um so we wanted lubricant didn't we so what a bucket of lubricant which doesn't show us up but it, we need diesel in here so new method have to pressurize diesel so there we go so right click this we can select the, the fluid we want which is this one and then we can say we want into here say 16 buckets or tell you what let's just do four buckets now the drone should start up and come over here and fill it with some if it has got space now because the carpet doesn't have a um, a collision box it has a bounding box but doesn't have a collision box it'll allow it to actually fill it up with liquid so what's the drone doing at the moment oh he's gone off and he's sitting here now the problem is he's sitting here and he shouldn't be because he's emptied out all of this um, kerosene. I'm just wondering what's happened to the kerosene here. Now this is empty of kerosene. But this should be configured to have kerosene in it. It's got 16 buckets. 
and it's not being filled up. So the, the drone has probably got some kerosene in there and it doesn't know what to do with it. Which is, as you can see. So what am I going to do about that? This is one of the things that this is a um, this particular version is in is in a sort of development version of it, so it might well have bugs in it, especially with the pathfinding. He said it was under heavy development, so it should have been around here to pick up some f this and put it into here, and it hasn't done. Ah, oh, okay. So what we could try is we could build another drone. Let's do that. I think I've got enough time to build another logistic drone. See if the other logistic drone, because that tank is now empty, behaves differently. So to do that, all we need is 12 gold and 24 redstone. Like this, we've got the we've got the standby, so we can do that. Let me come along here and put those into here. So let's put the redstone and gold into here. Let me have to wait a few seconds for this to actually put the ingredients into the um, chamber, and then it takes a little bit of time, not too much. So the redstone should go in first. There you see it. It looks like there's one, but in fact there's 24 in that block there. And as soon as that's done, the gold will come through and get it put into here. And I could speed this hopper up with some speed upgrades. But we need to make speed upgrades first. And then we'll have the blades coming out into here. So I'm going to take this blade out of here because it's quicker. So we get our 12. And then on here we should have some compressed iron. I haven't. Let's just put some compressed iron in here. We need one of those with compressed no, we don't. Yes, we no, we need f four compressed iron, and then we need to do the the triangle of this. Now, the easiest way to do that, if you're doing it manually, is like that. So you get your four turbines, one logistic core, and then you can simply put the four turbines turbines in across, and we get our logistics drone. So now let's come along here and charge up this logistics drone. So we can put the logistics drone in here. We can also come along here and put in a, an upgrade. Come back. So this is now charging up. It'll take a few seconds for this to actually get pressure in it. So this is also one you can add into here. Upgrades. So let's get some pressure in here. It doesn't need to be very much as it happens. That will probably do. 0.4 bar. Let's go and put it down and see what happens. So it's flying down there and it's taking some, sure enough, it's, it's bringing it's bringing diesel into here. So we should have in here now some, uh, we need to turn it on, of course, that's the other thing we have to do. And now it's finished. So it'll have filled up this tank to four buckets. And we can also say on here with the configurator that it not to come back every few seconds to do that. So we'll just come along here. Oh, and the, click the configurator on it and then to choose this one here so we'll say the minimum is two buckets so it's only ever going to come when it's got less than two buckets in here as you can see this is actually working quite nicely these let's get that out of hand, hand so we've now got six buckets of lubricant in here now to make the thing to make what we need we actually have to use buckets so let's get that's a good question I haven't thought about this it's 15 in there. Try again. Sorry. So we need however many we can get out of here. Four. That will do for the time being. So we can now go and make those upgrades. So the speed upgrades is, are, is upgrade matrixes or lapis, um, sugar, and lubricant. So the lubricant goes in the middle. So let's make those up. I might have already made this at one stage. It was, well, let's go over here actually and do this. Sugar, we've got four, so we need to get some more sugar. Uh, and in here we should have some plenty of... Um, I've got no space at the moment. Let's just put that into there. And then get this... Let's look at the uses of this bucket. And then we can do that. So we get one speed upgrade. Put the buckets in again. 
Now we should be able to take this empty bucket out of here and come along here and get some stack of sh sugar cane, make some sugar, and then put that back into here. You're going to need a lot of speed upgrades, uh, and I can't do that at the moment, so let's just do this again, uses of that. Like that, and I'll put, now I can put the sugar in here, so we're, we're okay. So we've got two. Uh, I'll make a third one, just in recipe for that one again. Actually, we can make four, can't we? So we've got our 15 buckets back, and we've got this ready. Ready, so let's go along here. And the idea, of course, is to speed this up. Now, when I speed this up, it's also going to do... Oops, didn't mean to do that. What did you just do? To get a bucket of gasoline out of that. Let's put that back again. Thank you. And then let's put in the upgrades. So let's right click this. So at the moment the pressure is that has gone up a bit actually as it happens. So let's put it in a speed upgrade. Now that should increase the air a little bit. It doesn't seem to be doing so actually as it happens. Let's do that another let's put in another one of those. Now then you did see it's going it's going up. Now the pressure is going up. So it is speeding it up. Also at the same time the temperature will be increasing. So when it goes to 51, we'll start to have problems because it's going to get too hot. You see it warning. Cool the machine to below 50. So it's 54, so it's 99% efficient. That will do for the time being. I'm not going to go and make it any cooler, but to make it cooler, what we do is we could take this more heat sinks out of here or we can use passive active cooling what am i hearing there some mob or other sounds like a zombie pigman and probably is underground probably spot probably come through the doorway a uh, portal so there we are we can also speed up this as well that might well be worth doing we've got two more of these in here and that makes a huge difference um how can I prove that? By doing another drone. So let's go and get some more turbines. So we need another 24 redstone and some gold. Gold's actually in reasonably short supply, but I think we've got a gold a gold seed now, so we should be having plenty of gold. And redstone. Like that. So let's put those into here this time. Which way did I do it last time? I did redstone and gold. See now you can see how fast those are going into the chamber here. The chamber can also get some upgrades in it. Um, see that's gone through there fairly quickly. And so look at this. Yeah. That's gone through there. And we can also put into these, I'm sure into these here upgrades we can also put dispenser upgrades so that injects into the world and of course we can do speed upgrades to make it run faster so that's why you need a lot of lubricant eventually you're going to make a lot of speed upgrades well i've covered just about everything that is in the logistics with the exception of one frame and that was the storage frame but it's exactly the same as the one on my left hand side here, the green one it just it has a higher priority so until next time i wish you all the best bye for now